toys. All right. Okay, y'all, you know what day it is. It's Nerd Chief Day! I'm so excited. My mama is coming, my sister is coming. She's all freaking dressed up. Dressed and I'm up. over here in a t-shirt and leggings and I'm out of my brow uh, beater stuff from, I think it's Urban Decay. I've got to get to Ulta because my eyebrows look terrible. Anyway, we're headed to Dirt Cheap. I don't know how much I'm gonna like vlog vlog, but you know I'm gonna give you a haul. In fact, we went to TJ Maxx last night, the day after Christmas, and I got some fun stuff. So I'll show you that now. And then um, I'll show you what we find at Dirt Cheap. Okay. I did did not record any in the whoa any in the store we found some good stuff but like it was not great there's hardly any toys i got some clothes for my all sports loving mccoy who doesn't care what team it is um three dollars let me see three dollar little shoes are those target shoes um i think so yeah they are and then she got a little oh, cat so scratch cute. thing for like two dollars for all the fans i don't know cat. what i'm gonna wear them with but i love them i will obviously show y'all everything when i get home but we're gonna go to another dirt cheap and see what they have okay second dirt cheap done also i know i said i was going to do a mm. tj maxx haul in with this <laughs> is <it> good jk <laughs> But as we're gonna go to Hobby Lobby and I know I'm gonna buy stuff at Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna do a separate haul for that, like an after Christmas clearance haul. So this is gonna be all dirt cheap because I got a lot more stuff at this one and then um, later I'll do a, like an after Christmas clearance haul. So we're heading to Hobby Lobby, but you'll see that later. Hey y'all, it's Haley. Welcome back to my channel. Same day, different video. My mama's still cooking. <laughs> I'm still over here hauling stuff, but this is my dirt cheap haul. We went to two dirt cheaps. The first one is my favorite and it's really big, but it was just like super picked over. There wasn't hardly really anything there. So I didn't get a ton at that one. And the next one we go to is usually not my favorite, but I actually ended up getting more at that one. So I did, I, I was kind of like, man, I don't really have anything to show. But then once I got it all together, I was like, yeah, there is quite a few things. The boys took, I did find a teeny mate which y'all know the boys are obsessed with now, the little um, action, sports action figures, I guess is what they are, in blind bags. I did find a hockey one of those for Koi because he was begging for one, so I went ahead and gave him that, and I got Merritt a little, um, what's it called, Minecraft blind box too, and I gave them those the day we got home, so that's not in the haul, but I did find those, and that was the only teeny mate I found. Back a couple years ago, I found the teeny mates ever. My boys weren't into them, my nephew was, so I would buy them for him all the time, and now my boys are into them and I can't find them anywhere, so that's fine. Um, but I did get some fun stuff, so I'm just, I just have this big um, 31 bag. So cute, y'all, oh my gosh, I love my 31 bags. Um, full of stuff, I'm just gonna pull stuff out and show you what I got. I did, you know the boys are into sports, and Coy is really, he likes some teams, but he loves the Tennessee Titans as his favorite, but he's pretty much like an equal opportunity sports team. He loves it all, so I don't know if they like this team or not, but these balls were like $2, and they love baseball, so I thought even if they just play baseball with them and don't even like the Angels or whoever these are, that this would be fun, and y'all know that for, I hope they're not coming in here, um, for Valentine's, I try to do like a red theme, sort of like happy gift for them. And I thought, oh, this would be perfect because it's red and we'll throw that in their little um, Valentine's happy for them. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, y'all, so excited about this. I had wanted one of these during this season but could never find one on Amazon or in store. But this is the Dash Waffle Maker and it is the little um, gingerbread man. Oh my gosh, I just squealed when I saw it. It was... Okay, so I think all the toys were like 70% off, so maybe these balls were even less than $2 because they were $5 on the ticket, and this was, I think, 60% off of $12.99, um, and it's just like the box is just a little dinged, but like they have what they call, <laughs> never been to dirt cheap, they have what they call a testing table, and you can go like plug it in and make sure it worked, and when I opened it, like everything was all sealed and everything, so I know it had never been used before, but I plugged it in and it worked, and so I was like, yay, so I got my little, um, Dash uh, gingerbread waffle maker. So I'm so excited about that for next year. Um, what is this? Nerf bullets. Y'all know the boys love anything Nerf. And now they've cleaned the basement and can find all their bullets and stuff. I did go ahead and get them these. And now I'm thinking, I don't even know if they have a gun that those will fit in. Whatever. I'm sure they'll do something with them. But these were $9.99 and then 70% off and I hear them too. So if I abruptly stopped, you know why? I think I found one of the boys, I don't know who took it, but a Minecraft book last time we were here. Um, 
I don't remember which one it was, but these are like, this is really good for actually Koi's age. It's got like pictures and the story. Oh my gosh, sorry y'all, I'm back. I just had to break up a fight over the Teeny Mates, y'all. It is serious. P.S. If you see Teeny Mates anywhere besides Target, because that's the only place I've been able to find them, let me know because that's all they want. I did get them some off of Amazon um, that will be for Merit's um, birthday, like a collector set. In fact, I don't know what I'm gonna be vlogging. I'm gonna vlog today, my brother is coming today. My sister has like a fun treasure hunt and we have some fun games to play, so I'm gonna vlog that and it's gonna go with yesterday's vlog, which is when my cousin was here with her little girls. I think y'all, I don't know if you'll see this first or I don't know what's all going up, but I'm just trying to record stuff so I'll have things to go up. But um, I'll probably do like a, a vlog a little bit on Merritt's actual birthday when we take him to the arcade and he opens presents and then we'll vlog a little bit of the Saints game too and make it one like Merritt's birthday vlog. Anyway, this book, I did get this book, um, Crack the Code it says, and I don't know if this will be birthday or what, but I do have a few things down in here that I do plan on giving Merritt for his birthday um, while he's here and he has another party in um, when we're in Iowa too, so I have things already stashed away for that. This is just a little Robux. It kind of looks like it has seen better days, but they love <laughs> Grand Central Station. Um, they love Roblox, so I just picked that up, and it was $7, 70% off or whatever, so I got that. Okay, I got a ton of clothes. I guess I'll just start showing you those now. Let's see. These are Koi's. <clears throat> Let's see. He loves Tennessee Titans, so we did get him a Tennessee Titans sweatshirt for $4. Are you crazy? I was like, even if he just wears it, like outside that's gonna be perfect is that a small child I'm just showing clothes so it's fine I did get him let's see this is I think that all in motion is that target kind of athletic wear brand <laughs> oh my gosh kids came in again it's so much easier to haul things when they're at school all right so <laughs> this is for McCoy this kind of my mama is making bacon hang on okay this sizzle is down a little bit now anyway <laughs> got any um, this shirt okay i don't know how much any i think most of the shirts were like five dollars most of them were like just on a rack and it was just like five dollars um i don't think i paid five dollars over five dollars for anything i just got him that same is it all in motion yeah just some pants for school nothing special just black pants um i thought these were kind of fun too i think this is that same brand that target Yes, all in motion. They're kind of like orangey, fluorescent orange, and they have a zipper. I got married a pair of these, too. I thought they were fun. Even if they just wore these around the house, that's worth it. Um, okay, so Koi, like I said, loves all the sports. So, we got him a Kansas City Royals kind of jersey-looking shirt. It's really big, but whatever. Um, and then he does love the Minnesota Twins, so we got him that. I got Merritt one of those too. And then, I didn't even know he liked the Falcons, but he said kind of, so I was like, whatever, it's $5. So I got him a Falcons um, sweatshirt. And then he really wanted a Tennessee Titans one, and I didn't even tell him I got it for him until we got here, so he was excited about that. Um, and then let's see, are these his size or Merritt's size? Where is just another pair of that all in motion, just kind of athletic pants. They love to wear those to school. So I did pretty good there. Actually, I got McCoy more pants than Merritt, and Merritt is really the one who needs pants. But McCoy's get holes in them quicker than Merritt does. So, um, all right. And this is Merritt's pile. This is just kind of like a little casual Cat and Jack shirt. It's kind of like a limey green. So he can have that. I think this one was actually cheaper than five. Um, and then this one I thought was cute. I think it's that same. Yeah, all, I think everything. Usually I get Champion brand, but they didn't have much Champion. It was mainly all this All In Motion brand. This is just kind of a ready orangey yellow. Just little athletic shirt for school. And I got him one of those um, camo ones in this sort of like turquoisey color. I think I got this in a red color too. They had a lot of these. Um, here are those same kind of orangey black pants that I got from McCoy and then that same Minnesota twin shirt this is like that silky or whatever material it is too so I thought that was nice they like to wear that um to school I thought I got him a red oh here it is but this is his sweatshirt because he is a very diehard Saints fan he doesn't want any other teams so <laughs> 
I got him this uh, old school uh, Star Wars sweatshirt. He's into Star Wars. Not like super into it, but he likes to watch it. So I got him that. And then I got him this camo red. His favorite is red. So I had to get him the red camo shirt. So that'll be good. And then I did just get him one pair of pants. I think these are Cat and Jack, but they're just gray um, athletic pants. So that is it for the clothes. Let me put this away and then I'll show you the rest of the goodies. Okay, toys. All right, if you've been following along, you know that the boys, especially McCoy, has been obsessed with Joe Journeyman. And it's like a Where's Waldo football book. And it's got all the, t not all the teams, but most of the teams. And then you find Joe Journeyman and all his little friends and all the stuff. And Coy is obsessed with it. Merritt really likes it too. And um, in, the, in the back it says, second book coming soon with like all the other teams. And of course you look, and this was like years ago. And it says it's coming out and you look online and you look on his website like, and it's never coming out. Like we can't find it. We don't know where the number two is. I've talked about it before in my vlogs. Anyway. Um, I'm just looking down the aisles and what do I find? Not the book, y'all. Don't get too excited, but I see Joe Journeyman and I'm like, what is this? It's a puzzle. It's a Padres puzzle. I have no idea. Uh, San Diego Padres. I, is that whatever? I asked Coy if he liked it and he was like, kind of. And I'm like, well, I know you like Joe Journeyman. So, um, but the book, it's funny because the book, Joe Journeyman is a football player, but now he's a basketball player and he's on a puzzle. So I don't even know. We do love to do puzzles. Is this a huge puzzle? Oh, 500 pieces. That's perfect. Um, so I did pick this up. I don't know if we're focused because we can't see. Um, there we go. I think we're focused there. Anyway, it looks really cool. And this is what the book looks like. These like the, the drawings and stuff. That's exactly what the book looks like. And it makes it so fun because it's so colorful and fun. Um, it says two games in one, put all the pieces together, then find Joe hiding in the puzzle. Hint, look for Joe's three unique features. An eye, eye black under his right eye, Joe on his helmet, and number one on his jersey. So I think you will love this. I might say this, um, like for his Easter basket or for his birthday because, uh, I think I will give this to Coy. I might give it to both. I don't know. I'm saving it for now. We'll see where I, what I end up doing with it. But I thought that was fun. Um, then I found the Oregon Trail card game. I think all of these were like 70% off. I really can't remember. Do you remember how much toys were off, Mama? I don't remember. Um, anyway, I have gotten an Oregon Trail card game from Dirt Cheap before, but it was like the hunting edition. And I have been, I always wanted just the plain one because we have like the little electro electronic Oregon Trail game. My boy's... There goes the bacon again. <laughs> she was cooking it. Anyway, um, the boys love anything Oregon Trail and so do I. So um, when I saw that this was the normal Oregon Trail game, I picked that up right away. Then, oh, you know what? This would be fun. Yes, let my crazy come out for St. Patrick's Day because it's green and I always give them a little happy for St. Patrick's Day. Now our phone's working. Oh my gosh. Oh. If you're still with me, I might give that as a St. Patrick's Day present just for fun. Um. Let's see, what else did I find? Oh, y'all, I thought this was a total score. Um, we got Exploding Kittens, the card game, maybe for Merritt's birthday last year or Christmas or sometime, and we actually really love it. And so I saw this, it is the Imploding Kittens, and it's the Exploding Kittens expansion pack, so you get more cards to play with. Oh my gosh, I thought that was so fun, and it was $15, 70% off, I think, and I looked quick on Amazon to make sure it was, like, not lame or whatever, and it had amazing reviews, so I picked that up real quick. This might be uh, something I put in Merritt's birthday, like, in Iowa, because then we'll have the game in Iowa to play. If I gave it to him here, it would be like, what are we going to do with this, you know? But um, he really loves that game, so I, that is something I will give to him. I thought that was a huge score. I just loved um, that, because we do actually like playing that game. Then, um, something I might give him here for his birthday was this game. And y'all know we were Back to the Future for Halloween. They love anything Back to the Future. And again, I looked this up quick on Amazon to make sure it was going to be something we would want to play. Y'all know we love games, especially in the winter. So, um, it's got, I, 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 after I got home, I did look it up on YouTube too to see how to play it. And it's kind of extensive, like the rules and stuff, but like once you get the hang of it, um, they say it's pretty fun, and this was $29.99, but again, 70% off, so I grabbed this game for him. I think he will love this. I think maybe I will do this for him here, because I have him, like, a Sonic, ooh, sorry, <laughs> that, like, Sonic football thing that I had gotten him that I showed you right before we left for Christmas to come here, and I have him a little teeny mate 
football collector box with some lime bags in it and then I have him a little Lego and do I have him something else? Oh, and a little Switch game that is The Last Kids on Earth, which he loves that book series and I don't even think he knows there's a Switch game for it. So, um, hello, are we focusing back there on the barn instead of my face? Um, so I think to put this with it would be fun because I did, like I said, end up getting Koi, the teeny mate little collector's box too since he's so obsessed. And traditionally on our birthdays, um, Sometimes my aunt and uncle, sometimes my mom and dad, we always like this siblings, especially me because I was a spoiled rotten little baby. I always got like a gift on my siblings birthday too. So Koi traditionally always gets a little bit of something, a little prize on Merit's birthday and Merit gets something on Koi's birthday too. So I thought that I would do that because he's been begging for more teeny mates. So I did order him that it should come in tomorrow. Anyway, back at the ranch, back to the future. I think I will wrap this up for Merit's birthday here and then, um, we can play that on New Year's Day, uh, the day after his birthday or whenever they wanna play it before we go back to Mississippi. No, we're in Mississippi, whenever we go back to Iowa. Okay, I just got a few more little things here. I did, I tried to find two of these, but I can only find one. Um, I think I got these for them last year, the little mini brands, or maybe, I think I got them as a toy version. Also, there, there's a tree coming down in the front yard too, if you hear that. Like, if, um, to, when I say Grand Central Station, I mean Grand Central Station, okay? Um, I think I got them the toy versions of these last year for either Easter or Christmas, but um, I just thought this would be fun and I only found one of them, so I don't know if we'll, I'll try to like find one full price somewhere or whatever, I'll save it for something, but I did pick that up. Also, if you've been following me long, you know I've been suffering from static cling or whatever it's called. Anytime I put a coat on, and it, did, it was like, it's only in the winter, so I don't know what's going on. Anyway, somebody said to use a humidifier, so I might try that, but they had little bottles of Static Guard for like, I don't know, 50 cents, so I grabbed one of those to keep it in my purse. Um, and then they just had some fun little straws. These are like Room Essential Target brand, just little um, silicone straws. I just picked those up because the boys always love to have a straw. Um, and then the last little things are for the advent ladder. I just thought it might be fun. This one says Mrs. Claus Bakery Fresh Baked Cookies. I thought that might be fun for one of the baking days. Um, super cute. It was a dollar and then all their Christmas was 90% off. Like, I wish they would have had more, but they didn't have hardly anything. They did. Mama, did you see that the last one we went to had um, NFL ornaments? But they are, I shouldn't say NFL, they had sports ornaments. They had like Green Bay Packers, which I don't know if Koi likes them or not. And they had, um, OU, what is that, University of Oklahoma? OU, yeah. And they had a W, which is probably like Wisconsin Badgers or whatever. I think those are the only ones they had. So it was like NFL and college. Anyway, they didn't have any we liked, but I thought that would have been fun if we had a, a team that we liked, but no. And then they had these little guys. I think these were from, yeah, the Wonder Shop. So they were... Three dollars, ninety percent off. But it's just—I'm not even showing you. It's just like a little snowman, and I don't know what I could do with this. Um, maybe if it snows, we'll build a snowman or something. I just thought it was cute, and it kind of matches the whole like theme I've got going for the advent ladder. So I did pick that up, and then I got the one also that's similar to this, but it's got Santa on it. Ooh, I just tore the tag off, but it doesn't matter. Well, no, it doesn't. It has the sleigh. So I thought that might be cute, like if we go to that town to see Santa or anything um kind of winter wonderland like is that focusing that that would be cute hanging on the advent calendar for that day and it sort of matches the same i'm gonna put these back in these little bags so they don't get wrecked but um another thing we did not do this year um that we usually do is write letters to santa which is fine because they told me what they wanted and i told santa so it was fine but this isn't open i thought this opened um but i thought that this was super cute to hang on the advent ladder and then that day we can write letters to santa so that we know what they want for Christmas. Um, and they can put it down in here. Or it can just be like an ornament or whatever. Um, so I feel like I have one of these maybe, but I put it on the tree. So this one can just be for the advent um, calendar and it was crazy cheap. No, it wasn't crazy cheap. Well, $12, 90% off, that's still pretty cheap. <laughs> $12 for this? I can't believe that. Anyway, whatever, I got it. So that will be on our um, advent ladder as well. So. That is what I picked up from Dirt Cheap this year. I am going to get busy putting all this stuff away before a child comes in here and before my brother gets here and I need to edit these videos and get them uploading um, so that y'all will have things to watch while I am here in Mississippi having all the fun. So make sure you subscribe so you see the rest of our Mississippi Christmas and all the fun we're going to have and uh, Merritt's birthday and then we'll be back in Iowa and back to uh, the normal routine. So subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing and we will see you in the next one. Bye y'all.